Hello and welcome to lesson number 10.1, where we will talk about some special plugins in QGIS and we will start right off with Quick Map Services. You have probably seen such web maps out there, right? So fancy web maps with some custom backgrounds where you can play around with or you can export the data. But what about QGIS if in terms of base maps and how to add base maps into QGIS? So let's go to QGIS create a new project and we will use the quick map services plugin for this we have done this already in the past lessons so just have a look in but it's not installed by default on your system so let's have a look on the not installed plugins and search for quick map service plugin there it is it's from the company called next gis or next gis and we will install the plugin Quick Map Services comes with um, some sort of, some short list of pre-installed plugins, and if you would like to get the full list here, please make sure to go to Settings, More Services, and select the Get Contributed Pack. The last version of Contributed Pack was downloaded and installed, so you can use this right away. Now, Quick Map Services comes with quite a cool feature so let's open up the OSM standard base map go south to Svelendam wherever it was there we are Svelendam and let's search for quick map services so we will use a filter by extent and now we can see that there is one base map service available for our dedicated extent and let's find out what this is so this is an aerial viewer or aerial image viewer for uh, south africa you can also search like i was in this takes some time because this will be a long list and you will get some indicators whether the service is up and running or you, they, there are some issues with the services at all. So let's create or let's add the Clarity Beta from Esri here. No, oh, there was an image. But it seems not to work for our region. Oh, is it? No, we have now some imagery. Great. Um, so this is one way to add even more services. And then sometimes, so this is um, the controlled environment where you need to edit your services and so on. But sometimes you would like to maybe add a very, very hidden gem to your analysis and let's do it by with default so let's have a look here on https open topo map i would like to add this to my leaflet base map services so let's have a look whether this is already there ozam open topo map it is already there okay but um let's assume we would like to use the cyclo map let's have a look here cyclo cyclo osm right there's an url for this so this is a web resource first of all we will use settings and we will add a new group which i will call custom you can choose an icon for this but this is not of question right now and then we will add a new service we can call it cyclo Oops name or alias is the same the group is in our custom group in stuff type tms a tiled map service you need to add some license information so let's have a look whether we can find something there there's an attribution so let's use this one is there a copyright link yes there's as well a copyright link so um, Let's use this types of types of service and 
copyright link here. Use OpenStreetMap and uh, then license. No license information available, but normally you would need to find out the license. So, but this is most likely the um, OpenStreetMap license. So we will use this information now for the moment and let's have a look here on the TMS. We need to add the, the, the URL for the service as well. Now, unfortunately, this parameter is not taken into account, so we need to fill it with, with a letter in our case. How can I see this if I'm using the network um, network overview in my uh, in my developer pane in, Q, in, in in Firefox? I can see that it's loading tiles from with with a service called the dev dot b tile or dev dot a tile. So I'm now just using dev.a tile because there's no other way. And I need to define that the Y origin is at the top. CRS ID is 3857. So it's Web Mercator. Just press on OK and save. Now go here, select your custom and add the cyclo map. Unfortunately, this is placed at the, at the end as well. And now the base map from the cycle map as a resource is loading up and I can see a really great base map in the end. So this is a way how to work with, with the services as well. And if you need to rely on secured services, um, then there is quite a burden with that. So open up the finder or your explorer and select the plugins folder plugins folder for your QGIS installation and let's go to the quick map services plugin here then we have some data sources and let's go with the osm tf doc and then there are some metadata files we will open this up in atom and here you can see that the URLs are defined for all the TMS or uh, for all the services. So if you need to, if you, if you really need to work with the secured HTTPS resources, you can alter the URL in this file. If you have any questions regarding the plugin, just drop me a line. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care and goodbye.